Okay, so we've taken a look at in depth the ways in which we can select our CSS. We're now going to move on to looking at layouts and it starts with padding. So what exactly is CSS padding? Well, let's take a look at an example. First of all, let's just get rid of this. We don't actually need this on the screen anymore. We know that this is all about understanding CSS padding. I'm just going to put a paragraph tag on the screen here and I'm just going to say, I love Dev Dreamer and I hope you do. Hope you hit that subscribe and like button. And as you can see now on our screen, we have a paragraph tag. Now, you don't actually see it, but this paragraph tag has a background. In fact, if we go into our style sheet, let's just save this, go to our style sheet and do paragraph and select background color and change this to, I don't know, red. As you can see, our paragraph element has been given a background color of red. The reason why it's stretching the whole width here of the page is because this is actually by default a block level element, which means it spans the whole width of the page. If we came here and we said display uh, inline block, then it, as you can see, then it uh, only takes up the width of the content. The content area for this paragraph element starts from here and it stretches all the way to the end there. Now, what padding refers to is the space between your content and then this outer area here. Now, at the moment, it's very small. I think it's anything at the moment. But if we came in here and we said padding, let's go for 20 pixels. We've seen a change. What's happened is, let's just zoom in actually. Okay, what's happened is this has increased the space from the edge of the content right here by 20 pixels to the left, 20 pixels to the top, 20 pixels to the bottom, and 20 pixels to the right. Again, the reason why it's spanning the whole width is because it's displaying as a block level element. Now, a good way to see this is by actually highlighting this text here. So if we just highlighted this, okay, and let's just bring this down to, I don't know, five pixels. Okay, it's a bit more clearer to see. You can see that now we have five pixels from here to the top, five pixels from here to the left, and five pixels here from the bottom. And the same thing here for the right. So padding refers to the space inside of your element. Now, this is actually known as the shorthand declaration for padding, because what this does is in one single declaration, you can declare the padding all the way around your element. So this five pixel padding here applied to the top, the right, the bottom and the left. But what happens if you want to just apply padding just to say the top and the bottom? Well, then what do you do or the left or the right? Well, in CSS, we have specific keywords. So if we got rid of this and we said padding top, padding hyphen top, and let's go for something big, let's say 50 pixels. Whoa, that's huge. So as you can see, then we've got a padding of 50 pixels from the top. So from our content, which is here, all the way to the top. We can also declare padding bottom, padding hyphen bottom, and let's just say, I don't know, three pixels yeah, that, that'll do here you go three pixel padding there from the left we'll say padding of 10 pixels okay gives a 10 pixel padding and from the right we'll say padding hyphen right of i don't know 20 pixels okay and let's just show you let's just minimize this now and let's just say display inline block just to show you and now you can see that the padding has been applied to the right there of 20 pixels okay so we've got padding top 50 pixels so from the content here right to the top we've increased the spacing inside our element remember we're not actually moving this element around element is is staying pretty much where it is but we're increasing the size inside uh, or rather the space inside the element from the content to the edge so 50 pixels there three pixels from here to the bottom okay Padding left of 10 pixels, or from here to the left is 10 pixels, and padding right from here to the edge here is 20 pixels. Now, there are also some other ways in which you can declare this. So, for example, we can do the same thing on one line. So, rather than doing this, let's just uh, comment this out. Okay, we can do the same thing in a single declaration. So, we can just say padding, and then we can give four values. Now, the four values, you can't just put them in any order you want, they're in a specific order, and that order is top right, bottom, and left. So let's say we wanted 50 pixels at the top, space. At the moment, of course, it thinks we're just doing 50 pixels alone, that's why it's done all the way around. But we say 50 pixels from the top, space. Now we do the right, which was 20 pixels. And then we can say the bottom, which was three pixels. 
and then finally the left which was 10 pixels okay and this is the same as writing this and we'll take a look at one more example the final way you can use padding is by declaring the same values for top and bottom or left and right so again let's comment this out and let's say padding and again it's just going to be a single line declaration let's say we want padding and the first figure you put in here is going to relate to the top and bottom padding and the second figure only going to be two figures here is going to relate to the left and the right padding so let's say we want top and bottom to be 40 pixels each and left and right we want to say just five pixels and as you can see now from the content let's just highlight it again from the content here and zoom in the content to the top we have 40 pixels and for the bottom we have 40 pixels which was this declaration here and then from the left and right we have five pixels there and five pixels there okay guys so that is everything you need to know about padding in css and you may not know it yet, but what you've started to learn is one of the major concepts behind CSS known as the CSS box model. And you can kind of get an idea of why it's called the box model because we have a box here around our element. In fact, our content element is also pretty much a, a box. But we'll build up to that. For now, just understand that CSS padding is all about increasing the space inside our element. That's the key word. Just remember padding inside, padding inside. So it's all about increasing the space or the padding inside our element from the content to the edge. Okay guys, so I hope you found that useful. If you really do love DevDreamer, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me. Hit that like button as well. If you have any questions about CSS padding or if something didn't make sense to you, then please do let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer it. So go ahead and try this out guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.